boys, girls, welcome to another Kemikaze creation video. So I've, uh, in the last video, I set up this uh, DOF H3 um, motion platform and uh, I've had a few runs on it, uh, started to play with the software uh, that uh, controls the motion and learning a little bit. Uh, one of the big things that's come up is balancing and there are a couple of videos out there definitely not uh, I haven't found one for this unit there was a, a H2 or an M2 uh, fellas done years ago um, but uh, I've just had a look at uh, the balance of mine and it's definitely out like I've got a lot of weight over the back of the units and the motors are at the front of the unit uh, which will be making them work reasonably hard to pull the front of the car down or simulate that that pulling of the front of the car down. Uh, so I'm just going to, I've had a look at all of the different bolt holes and there's a fair bit of adjustment there. So I'll just show you through my thoughts uh, and my processes and what I'm going to do to bring this into balance and it might help some people out there that buy these straight up and uh, can put it in the right position straight away. So I'll show you what I'm thinking. So the main rig rotates or pivots around that universal joint or gimbal uh, under the seat there. And as you can see with mine, that uh, universal joint is right at the front edge of my seat where I'm sitting back in the base of it. Uh, so all of the weight is hanging out over the base. And if you look up here, the motors are at the front. So the effect of that, if you think of the seesaw effect, um, I've got a lot of weight pulling the front of the car up, but to pull the front of the car back down, it's relying wholly and solely on those motors. And I think that's what they're talking about with the balance of the unit. You really need to get that seat in a position that when you're sitting in it, uh, without the front... Um, tie rods attached, it should be reasonably balanced. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to move that forward. Again, the seat in relation to the pedals and the steering wheel need to be in proportion. So I've got to move the whole lot. I'll have a bit, have a, I'll have a bit closer look and show you what I'm thinking. There's a series of bolt holes along the main frame that the seat sits on. So the seat rails here, I think will stay in the same position. But what I'm planning on doing is moving um, this whole rig forward. You've got, I've got a bolted here. I reckon I can bring this up into these bolts, which means I've actually got to move these back a bit too. Um, and then I'll be in effect moving the whole unit forward uh, on on the main motion frame. So um, where these are bolted in here, there are, if I come up over the top, you can see um, this hole and this hole line up, which has given me about, or about three inches that I can bring the whole lot forward. Um, but to get that, I really need, there's probably a bit more than that in here, four or five inches. So I need to undo these and move these back in these holes a little bit so that then I can bring the whole rig forward and then I'll do a little bit of adjustment on where the seat actually sits to. You can see there's a few adjustment holes where that universal joint sits on that top rail. So I'm just gonna fiddle with that to um, try to get a little more, bit more balance on where that universal joint is in relation to where I sit in the seat. So now that I've got the seat off, it becomes much more obvious where those two main seat rails are, that the sliders are attached to. The universal joint in relation to that is uh, way out of whack. It really needs to be, you know, reasonably central to that maybe a bit further to the back but a lot more balanced than it is so uh, that's the mission to move this top rail forward and get it positioned more central to my sitting position 
so that the seat is more balanced and the load isn't, uh, isn't on those motors to do all of the work. Rightio, so I've made a little bit of progress. What I've done so far is I actually moved these back one hole. I found there was an adjustment hole there to move that whole frame back that the uh, universal joint is sitting on. So I've gained 20 mil backwards at that point. And then the actual universal uh, bolting holes, I've um, moved back two holes. So there's probably another 30 or 40 mil in that movement, which in essence has moved all of the pedals forward, which means I'll need to move my seat forward on the uh, slider rails. Uh, the only other thing uh, to be able to move my seat forward more and have the same sitting position, I still haven't moved uh, this section here. So I think I can just move these on this frame uh, forward, you know, probably another 20 mil, which will take my, maybe even up to this point here, which will compensate for the movement of this going backwards. And then that should allow me to move my seat forward and be more over the center of this uh, universal joint. One uh, big hint here, if you're undertaking this and playing around with this universal joint, um, they are a needle roller in there. And if it pops off and on, just make sure all of the needles are sitting in line. Uh, because when I popped mine off, the needles had come out and the bearings weren't actually pulling up close enough and I think that was probably like that from my first assembly because I had a little bit of play in there so just keep an eye on those needle rollers on that universal joint and that they're all sitting in nice and tight I end up packing them all back in there getting them lined up and uh, holding it on there while I slid that rail in and made sure they didn't come out but now it's a lot tighter than it was so making good progress this is, um, I just put the seat back on to check how much I'd gained so far. And I've probably gained half of what I need. So uh, in essence, to get the next part of it, I, um, I need to be able to roll my seat forward on the sliders. And to do that, I really need to take the pedal box and steering wheel out so they can bring it forward and that will bring me over that center point. So, so far, all I've done is uh, use the back position here, and up in here, I've used the furthest back position as well that I could. What I could have done also is um, taken this further back and re-drilled some holes. Uh, it would have been another option so I could get that universal joint back further. But so far, this is working out pretty good. Uh, so I've gained half of what I need. I'm still not sitting over the um, uh, the, the um, universal joint, still not sitting completely over it, but it has moved my position uh, to the direction that I need. Now I'm just looking at this section here. Uh, if I take this upper section here, and take these bolts out and these bolts out and actually move this forward to compensate for the distance that it moves my pedal and steering wheel forward. I can then just adjust this seat slider, which will bring it over the top of that universal joint. So now I have the seat slid forward into my sitting position and the gimbal definitely is more central under the seat i still think i could go more um and that may, may mean drilling some new holes for the actual seat mounts uh and then actually physically moving the pedals and the steering wheel on its mount to get that central location but it's definitely uh moved me a lot more further forward which takes that uh pressure off those motors trying to pull me back down. I uh, was really assisting them in the lift up as if you're going up a hill and the front of the car's coming up. It was easy because I was, uh, I was cantilevering out the back of that uh, universal joint. Now that I've got it much more central, I'm getting more downward force 
on there, which is evening, evening the whole pressure on that motor out a bit. Here's my uh, final setup, and it actually is reacting quite well. And I've done some tuning with the software now, so I'm starting to get a handle on that. And I might do a video on what I've learnt uh, with this new software. And particularly, I'm racing in Dirt uh, Rally 2. Um, so I've got a setup for Dirt Rally. But what I did realise in the change was that everything I moved didn't move the pedals. So this main bar down here, I didn't actually change the position of that bar. I did change the position of the universal on that bar. I moved it back and I moved that bar back and I brought the seat forward. And now you can see that uh, gimbal or universal joint is pretty much central. By moving these bars forward, uh, and I moved them forward probably, oh, a good 50 or 60 mil that did move my steering wheel forward and then i found my pedals were too close because nothing i've done has moved those pedals uh, and i had a couple of settings left underneath my pedals and i basically actually just tilted them down uh, and it felt really comfortable and it allowed me to bring my seat forward just a little bit more so it's feeling really balanced uh, it's looking good and it's operating really well at the moment. So uh, that's it for balancing. Um, I could perfect it a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with that. And I might do a little bit of a video on the tuning cycle in the future. Thanks for watching.